Hi guys, as promised, here we are again, showing to you the way in which we are going to mount the AV130 on the F550. This, as I told you, was not, uh, we did not find any easy way to do it and we had to think of one way in order to achieve the following two purposes. One of the purposes of this is to be able to easily unmount the gimbal from the hexacopter. We, you know how it is when you have to carry a hexacopter with a gimbal, you have to be able to dismount it, put it in some uh, ways to, to carry it around. This was one of the objectives. The second objective was for us to be able to have a place where to store these two batteries. And none of the solutions we, we found that were already uh, manufactured provided a, a, a simple way to, to mount the batteries. And we came up with this solution which we think covers both of these uh, uh, objectives. On the bottom, you can see the battery tray that comes with the AV130. Normally, this battery tray has... It, it was meant to adapt the AV130 to the Droidworks uh, copters, okay? And the Droidworks copters, the way I, I've seen it, comes already with this uh, carbon fiber bars. We had to buy these bars. Normally we wanted to buy 7 mm diameter bars because the holes in the battery tray are 7 mm holes. We did not find such a bars and therefore we bought 11 mm bars and we had to enlarge the holes in the battery tray. I will show you immediately. The way this entire thing is mounted on the F550 is using these four screws which are not the nicest screws but are strong enough to keep the entire weight of the gimbal and these screws go into two aluminum 10 mm bars that we handmade. We just drew some holes in it to fit uh, to fit these screws. It's not it's not a hard job to do. These two bars secure the carbon plates, these two carbon plates that we also also manufacture. I will unmount this now so you can see how easily you can unmount it, how rapidly you can do it, and I will show you in more details that the components that it is made of. So in order to unmount this, all you have to do is to unscrew these two screws. It will take a few seconds. The reason this entire mounting moves right now is because none of the screws are finally tightened. They are just temporarily so I can show you how the entire thing works. Okay, so I'm almost done with one of the screws. Um, maybe we should cut this to make them smaller. These are plastic screws that we bought so we can manually unmount it without having to use any screwdriver. Okay, so I removed these two screws. Now, in order to separate the gimbal, so the bottom part is the, where the gimbal will sit and the upper part is the hexacup. In order to separate these two, all we have to do is to pull these two bars apart. Remember, this is not finally mounted. So I'm pulling these two bars apart and this is the hexacopter and on the bottom stays the gimbal. So it only took me like one minute to, to unmount. Now to show you the individual parts. So as I said, these are aluminum bars which connect to the bottom plate of the hexacopter by these four screws. Between the aluminum bars and the screws, we have placed four grommets. They are ordinary grommets, 
and we use them in order to serve as dampening between the, the hexacopter and the gimbal. There are actually the grommets that came with the battery tray of the AV130. Now, as I told you, these holes were initially 7mm holes, or 8, not sure exactly. Now there are 11mm holes, so that our carbon fiber tubes will fit through. These carbon fiber tubes already have some metric 4 nuts, plastic nuts, inside of them. These bars we bought as you see them, exactly as you see them, we bought them from a shop called myhelis.com. It's a Greek shop and we thank John from myhelis.com for providing these bars to us. I was telling earlier about the aluminum bars which secure the bottom part of the hexacopter with these carbon fiber plates. These carbon fiber plates were made so that the batteries will fit between the bottom board and the battery tray. Okay, so they are of enough height to provide room for the batteries to fit in, or even larger batteries in case we, we will need that. What else we have are these two plates which came with the AV130, so we did not have to make those. This came with it. And these grommets, which we are using to secure the bars, once you mount everything, you want to make sure that the gimbal will not move sideways. So we are using these grommets to block the movement of the gimbal sideways. So this is pretty much it. Thank you. See you later with uh, the rest of the things being mounted.